Hey, it's my first rain. This is cute. I want to build a squid trap. I think it's... My, my idea is you dig out the bottom, put signs in, and then they fall through the signs. And then you can negate them somewhere. And I get enough spawning in there, it, it's just going to be an absolute pain in the ass to uh, get whatever hollowed out, because, you know, drowning. That's awesome. That's... Okay. Like, it's only raining in one spot, but that's because there's an outcove. That is awesome. The sunset? That was fantastic. That looks so good. It's amazing how much attention rain is getting in a building adventure game. Still that sound. Alrighty. So we worked on the mob elevator. I uh, went ahead and finished it. You guys sat through all the boring mining, but there's even more boring stuff after that. Uh, I did Ethos's uh, mob evader. Or mob elevator, if you'd like to call it that. And it took absolutely forever. Uh, this gives me the option to expand. I don't think I can go that way, though, because of the mine shaft. So I can go out, out, and out. Uh, the mob elevator is, like I said, Ethos Design. I am linking it in the description. Uh, mobs come in here, they go up. It took forever because, well, you can't see right now, because I can't either. To place all these signs, and I had to go get wood, I had to use a tree farm and went, burn through all my wood. Uh, not my wood, but my bones. Brings you up here, because you have to have a so two signs for every level, and then two water, so you have to keep going back. Uh, I'm going to bring the mobs up here, they will burn up, and items will drop in there. So I'm going to go kick out the torches and see if it works. Alright, completely dark down here. Let's get the hell out. That's gonna be hyper. Where did that torch come from? You're fine. Thought it's gonna be hyper efficient. And let's make it daytime so we get better spawn rate period. Bye bye, Rain. I hear it working. need to uh, light up the caves in that area. And it should have better efficiency. Maybe add a pad or two more if I uh, find myself in need of uh, mob items. I definitely want bones so I can do the bone meal. 
because instant trees are excellent. Now, we got enough stuff. I'm gonna grab some wood. Wrong one. And some food. And we'll go do some uh, cavern cleaning. So now there's a cave over here somewhere. No, that doesn't count. This doesn't count either. I was pretty sure I saw a cave entrance over here. The game's making me out to be a liar. Take that pig. I'm upset. Ah, here we go. There's my dock for my other... And this is nothing. Damn it. Let's check over here. Lots of feathers I really don't need. Random mushroom. up here. I hear groaning all the damn time when I go uh, along the lake edge. So now there's entrances. Not entrances, at least there's caverns. And another damn dead end. Son of a bitch. Oh, there it is. There's the money. Hello. Hello. Look at you down there. Pretty sure that's a uh, lighting errors again. You trying to say hello? Why aren't you just the dumbest thing? Well, that was rather disappointing. Short-lived.
Well, that was kind of rather disappointing. I guess I have to do some exploratory digging to find out where the hell that uh, groans in that cave system are coming from. Screw you, cow. Make it on my shit list, too. Fun thing is, I'm pretty sure there's a back entrance to my base over here. So that's the giant mountainside. That, uh, tunnel we created when we were mining into the mountain leads out back here. Somewhere. Because I was out here, uh, collecting wood. There it is. Haha. <laughs> well, didn't accomplish too much. Uh, got the spawner cracking away. I think I'm gonna let that uh, run for a little bit. See how good that is. And decide from there if I want to go ahead and expand it. I will catch you guys later. Take care.